now we're wanting to go back to our main menu so just in assets uh, flooded grounds folder scenes and let's open the main menu just to ensure that you have actually saved this level uh, for any changes and let's just open the main menu again um, so this is what this looks like now this particular video uh, this particular button of the load game I only want that to be visible if you have actually saved some data out of the game if you haven't that option is not available it will just be new game or quit okay so um, we want to now attach one of our scripts from the my script folder to this canvas and it will be save script nope not save script uh, it will be menu script that's the one okay let's drag that onto canvas all right so now we need to modify this this uh, menu script so let's go into here all right so we need uh, a serialized field and it's going to be of type game object and it will be the load button all right so that we can drag that in now on the start we want to check if um, there is anything um, basically saved within the save script so to do that we're gonna um, we're gonna use a private I think no in fact so we can visualize this I'm, I'm actually just gonna create a public for now public integer called uh, data exists okay um, and I'll default it as something like 10 okay uh, just so that we can see a change in number uh, so on the start we want to find out if uh, there is anything in the player prefs so we're going to say data exists there it is uh, equals player prefs dot get integer and we're just going to pull out any one of the integers that are in there um, so let's have a look what have we got let's just get um, players health for example we definitely know that that's going to be in there so players health um, now if oh, uh, it's got an s in it hasn't it players health it has to be spelled exactly the same now if there is nothing in there we want it to return a default value which is zero okay um, so what I want to do is actually just save this and we're just going to test that this works it should do uh, we're going to double check it so on the canvas just wait for this to update and now we've got a game slot so on our main menu our load game button is going to go into load button and our data exists at 10 okay so I'm just going to test this I haven't got maximize on play playing so I'm just going to press play and see what happens to this number okay so it's instantly set to 30 that means that player prefs exists so it's found that value and populated it if player prefs doesn't exist that value will become zero and that is a great way for us to determine if there is already any any existing load data or saved data rather okay great so that works so now what we want to say on the update um, in fact no not on the update uh, we're going to do this through a custom function we'll call it menu button It doesn't exist yet that's correct it doesn't so let's create that void menu button okay uh, and what we want to say is if uh, data exists is greater than zero in the words there is some data to call then we want um, load button dot game object with a little g dot set active to true so we want to switch that button on now we also have to make sure that we actually switch the button off to begin with on the start so control and c just above the data exists we're actually going to set that button to false okay uh, and it will only get switched on if data exists is greater than zero um, we also need to make sure that 
when we start the menu that time is greater than zero there may be an there may be a time when for example in the game if you've got the inventory menu selected uh, and you you turn the inventory menu on just as um just as you're dying okay and it's transitioning scenes there may be bizarre times when time is set to zero so we actually just want to set time uh, with a capital t dot time scale uh, to equal one okay so we're sending it back to default we also need to make sure that our cursor is also visible so cursor dot visible equals true just in case that it's like a, a fail safe method to ensure that the menu is is running perfectly all right great so um let's save this and um let's test this so we should see the load menu um, in fact load game button I'm just going to switch that off by default and then when I press play it should come back on yeah because it's got data so it recognizes it great so in the next video we're going to sort out these buttons so they all work on the menu